Beautiful day. Beautiful song. Star Wars. And it's a beautiful day to get a new dishwasher. This is the third dishwasher, fourth dishwasher I've purchased in 10 years. I got that new fancy one. It was $1,600. It was crappy. And the dishes always came out dirty. I'll show you what not to buy. Okay, this is what not to buy. I thought because it was... What kind, of, what kind is this one? What kind is this one? Looks like a Fisher Fakel. Fisher Fakel? Fisher Fakel. Paid 16 dollars Oh, yeah. Oh! My stuff in there. It paid $1,600. Anyway, this is horrible. It was so bad. I'm having it replaced. What did I get? A Bosch? KitchenAid and a Bosch. Okay, the kitchen. The Bosch. Oh! So this one's going in the house, that one's going in the guest. The guest room. house gets better. Is that a fine position or? Uh, typically you want to go into the back. Which is a better uh, like that? dishwasher. Yeah. It's really preference. Um, they're both really good dishwashers. Hmm. Washes are known for being really quiet, um, efficient. Okay. KitchenAid doesn't have any like, thing against it. I guess Bosch is probably talked about in a little mm -hmm. higher regard when it comes to dishwasher but it's not like okay they're getting the bottom anyway this was horrible do not get a fisher pickle and when they unwrapped it it was set in a box for a year because yeah. larry was sick his cancer came back and we just didn't we didn't really need to put a new dishwasher in i was just being snarky and so i wanted this new one and when he undid the box it was damaged and he told me i could get my money back but i wasn't feeling good but anyway this is a huge problem this I like that you can adjust these shelves here. You can adjust them anyway. This is the problem with it. Is you have to empty this out all the time. You have to clean the screens. Now this screen, this screen gets clogged all the time. So you have to re, you have to clean this at least once a week. So, this is a high maintenance, very high maintenance dishwasher. But it works fine. Uh, I paid 1600 for it, and I think I'm gonna sell it for 500. I don't know. Somebody will want it. It's a good washer, dishwasher, but not for me. Besides, when you try to open the drawer at the bottom, the uh, rugs they get caught anyway that's going in the guest house and that's going in my house and it's got that little rack at the top mm -hmm. <laughs> okay this was in the guest house is that the one that was in the guest house yeah Huh. You know what? Why don't you leave it? Yeah, leave it. If you're sure. Yeah, I probably could sell it. And okay. you guys are charging me how much to get rid of it? Uh, I don't know. About a uh, hundred bucks? Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd double check. Yeah. Because I don't know the specifics, but... I mean, yeah, I don't think there'd be any problem with us leaving it and if there was a charge you just have to talk to your salesperson yeah because like, it I talked to him and told him to leave it instead of taking it with him so yeah because it it's not broken it just she wants to leave that, one here too. that one yeah okay but is there a fee for taking that one no 
no. I didn't think there was. No, it comes with the installation cups. I right. love this. Yeah. That's just well, maybe when they come to install my stove, if I change my mind. Yeah, you can always... Then you, you might have to pick up a cost. Because okay. typically with the installation, it's we one. bring one, we take one. Right, right. But if we come a different time, we're just bringing one, you want us to take three. Okay. Then it's well, okay. well, they take that to the to that second hand. They what? all go to our boneyard. It's like our old appliance place. They all get put in there, and every Wednesday we have an auction. We're used appliance dealers and scrap metal guys come and bid okay. for them. And we'll Why don't I put a note on that? This works fine. You can do that. It just leaks and it hasn't been used hardly at all yeah if you'd like to do that you can okay um, i'll do that 